Now that we've made the first sounds on the saxophone um, without articulation, I'd like to show you a, a really simple approach for teaching proper and um, effective articulation right from the beginning. The, uh, the most important thing I can tell you is that the, the, part of the, the, the part of the tongue that touches the reed is important to define for your students early on. Um, because it's difficult to show students what's going on inside their mouth, the way that I've had some success over the years is to have them simply voice the letter T, which probably almost all instruments do that in some way. But when we do that on the saxophone, um, there's a particular spot in your tongue that touches the hard palate and sounds like T, T, T. That spot on your tongue is important to identify because that's the place in your tongue that you want to have touch the tip of the reed, not the tip of the tongue to the tip of the reed, or not the back of the tongue to the tip of the reed, but that particular spot on your tongue that touches your hard palate when you say the letter T is what we want to shoot for. Um, the easiest way to make this application to actually playing is to do what I call a reverse tongue, which start, it, start the sound just like we did um, without any articulation, ah, and then stop it with your tongue which will sound like this. It's really important to keep everything still while they're doing that. Oftentimes saxophonists get moving their jaws around when they move their tongue. That you should definitely watch for that early on. That that's a, becomes a major problem a couple years down the road. The, um, once they have that reverse tongue figured out, which is, for whatever reason, seems to be a better approach to me because it's focusing on tone before tongue. So we make a nice tone and then stop it with a tongue. Obviously, they have to learn how to go the other way with it. But I initially still have them start sound without tongue, which is good embouchure and good air, and um, simply stop it and then blow air and move the tongue away from the reed and start it again. So I'll just demonstrate that now. That obviously is stopping my air completely when I do that. That's something that as we progress through playing and get into more, um, more refined articulations such as staccato and legato and marcato articulations, we really don't want to stop our air. Um, but that's a basic way to teach them exactly what part of their tongue touches a particular place on the reed and gets them off to a really good start in articulating.